Known as the driest, hottest and lowest national park, Death Valley can often be overlooked. This is Katie from Creative Travel Guide and today we share these Death Valley travel tips. Looking for more travel tips? Make sure to hit subscribe and ring that notification bell. So firstly, let's look at the best time to visit Death Valley. So late October through to November is ideal as the camping season has just begun and temperatures range between 50 to 70 degrees. March to early May is the perfect time to visit if you are looking to see the vibrant wildflowers bloom. This is the most popular time to visit the park however, so weekends can be busy and campsites get a little bit more crowded. Whatever you do, try your best to avoid the summer. It is incredibly hot and you will want to stay inside your air-conditioned car most of the time. If you are planning just a day trip to Death Valley, make sure you arrive early. You can get gorgeous sunrises, dramatic backdrops and empty landscapes. Just aim to get here as soon as you can in the morning. So now let's talk about how to get there. So located in Central California, but near the Nevada border, you can drive to Death Valley from Las Vegas. There are day trips available, but we recommend you plan your own trip from either LA or Vegas. Which leads us on to where to stay. So Death Valley has nine campgrounds to choose from, most of which are first come, first served. There are hotels within the park with four different hotels to choose from. We recommend you stay in a hotel if you are visiting in the hotter months. These hotels are available at different price ranges to so compare availability and prices and choose whatever suits you, your travel companion and your budget. Now because this is a very unique national park there are a few things that you need to remember before you go. Firstly you need off-road tyres so if you plan on driving across the park's dirt roads make sure to have off-road tyres and spare tyres with you. Flats are common in this national park. Also make sure to stock up on gas so gas is available inside the park from stovepipe wells, panamint springs and furnace creek but make sure you carry extra if you're planning on moving away from the paved routes. Also bring plenty of water. Like we said this is a very dry national park and it can get very warm no matter what time of the year you are visiting. Make sure to bring plenty of water with you. Also bring maps. Phones don't tend to work out in Death Valley and GPS systems are unreliable here. Make sure you bring yourself a paper map to avoid getting lost on your self-drive. So now let's look at the things to do in Death Valley. So Death Valley is a huge national park full of wilderness. Make sure to get up early and try some morning hikes, but stick to car travel during the hottest times of the day. You may choose to hike to Telescope Peak, the highest point of the park, or head to Natural Bridge, a hike that takes you around a high-walled canyon. Watch this video to hear about the 20 best national parks to visit in the USA. Then to learn about other amazing things to see in America, watch this video. We hope you have an incredible time at Death Valley. Stay safe and stay creative.